and our mission should be completed now. There's never really, not really an indicator that tells you the mission is gone. Uh, the mission's done. It's just gone from your objectives uh, overview. Sweet. Huzzah! <laughs> right, a couple of funds. And our reputation is rising, rising, and rising so far. Um, cool. Let's save the game here. And take a look at our missions. So we do have the tourist missions. I'm very afraid to do them. Because I'm going to kill them. <laughs> These sound doable. Okay, you know what? Before I take a mission here, let's take a look at... Um, our launch pad, what does it cost to upgrade that? 50,000. And it's gonna be. It's gonna go from 18 tons to 114 freaking tons. Maybe that's worth it. Uh, I say yes. There we go. Alright. That's number one. What about the runway though? 75,000. Well, we've been doing well enough with this one, so let's keep it in that for now. Um, okay, should we try to go for orbit? Thing is, that person piloting that um, craft is gonna be stuck in orbit for a very long time. Not that it matters, they don't die from, from, from uh, hunger or anything. But we're gonna have to decide who to send up there. Because Valentina is my lucky charm, or has been, in the tutorials. And Kerbal, uh, Kerbal, what's his name, Jebediah, is kind of a legend around these parts. Maybe I hire a pilot just to go into orbit. Let's try that. Oh, don't give me the flag, we already chose that one. Okay, what's, is there a cost to hiring them? Pedo. Ah, I don't like the name. <laughs> it's not Pedo, but Pedo, but still. Um, Edbal, Kerman, Justice. Ooh. His stupidity is right up there. Maybe we'll, we'll send him into orbit. That's actually a good job for this dude. I can have a maximum of five. Uh, what kind of people do I have? Okay, I have one of every... Sword, right? Pilot, engineer, scientist, and pilot. Okay. So getting a third pilot is kind of poopy, actually. What to do? Uh... Yeah, no. Uh... I'm, I'm... I don't know. <laughs> Now, I'm gonna hire this guy. What's the cost for this? I can change his suit. Doesn't work. It did cost something, but it t didn't tell me how much. Oh, crap. It did tell me at the top left. <laughs> I didn't see. What was it? 50,000? Maybe. Maybe. Okay, uh, let's change his outfit. Just so he's in line with everybody else. We don't want any rebels here. Everyone's the same here. Uh, use this. Is this a, a girl pilot? She has like a bun. Or something. Didn't know, I thought Jest... I didn't know what kind of name Jestice is anyway. It's new to me. Alright. Uh, for some reason, the the icon here doesn't change its color, but it should be done. So let's send her into orbit. She's gonna be as high as her IQ is low, because she's pretty stupid, apparently, to this chart. So let's go into our assembly building and try and get this done. Maybe this is a 
Good starting rocket. Uh, do I have RCS? Crew cabin, so I could send even more poor suckers up there. <laughs> Where's the RCS? There's a battery pack. Okay. Duracell. Um. Where would that be anyway? What am I looking for? I just forgot. <laughs> hmm. No, it doesn't seem like I have what I was looking for. So, oh right, the RCS pack, that's <laughs> what I wanted to do. We have a shoot, that's for later, once we splash back down. My nose is itchy. Temperature, I don't... Well, once we're in orbit, we, we might actually want to get some science done, so let's get this open and put all the crap we can in there. Uh, where is it? Floating up here somewhere. Take this, would ya? Thank you. Um, put it in there. What's going on? I am trying to rotate, but it doesn't work. Okay, this is broken. Let's try a new one. Okay, we might want to get rid of this stage here for a second. Maybe even of the heat shield. Yoink. Put it there. Well, that's more like it. There we go. And a goo canister. Right there. And just adjust it a tiny little bit so I can uh, do whatever. Close this back down. Good. Heat shield. Do we need a heat shield for this? I'm imagining. I don't want to lose this person up there, so I don't even need the parachute, right? Because I might... Am I able to dock onto this? I have no idea. Well, well, what about the docking? Can I do this? If I can't dock, I don't... I might not want to do this yet. Rockomax brand adapter. What is this? Oh, pressure and so on. Oh, so on. Oh. But these descriptions are actually pretty funny <laughs> most of the time. Governmental pressure and several lawsuits led Rocomax to finally consider creating an adapter to connect its own parts to that of its competitors. As much as the CEOs hated it, however, it was a resounding success. <laughs> uh, what is this thing? Maybe this is the the. The dock? Let's put that here. Whoa, whoa. That's a big thing. That's a big one. I know that's what she said, but still. Um, that goes like this. Interesting. I don't know what this does. <laughs> Professionals at work. You want somebody like me to work on a rocket? You need somebody like me to work on a rocket. Because I don't know what the limits are, so I just try stuff, and suddenly it works. You didn't even know it worked in the first place, because you have all your rules and limitations and whatnot holding you back. <laughs> okay. Perhaps, um, perhaps we're not gonna go to, to, to orbit just yet. We're gonna open, uh, no, no, don't save. Open that crap, uh, craft back up. What's the buffed thing? Oh, that's the bigger one with two stages, right? Yeah, I don't, don't think we need that right now. We're gonna go for another contract because I don't think... I do want to rescue the person going up in, into orbit, and I don't think I can do that yet. Because I don't think I can dock onto this pod. I think I need a different thing for that. Let's take a look at the um, tech tree and perhaps see if 
That's something we need to grow, upgrade at some point. Advanced rocketry. That's just... A, oh, no. That's wrong. This is flight control. Heavy rocketry. Okay, that's just for propulsion. Propulsion systems. Fuel systems. Advanced construction. Now, this might be what, what we need. The thing is, this screen is broken on the PlayStation 5. Because... Uh, uh, I can't hover with the cursor over anything. It just doesn't work. They didn't. I don't think they tested this before they deployed it. So what can I do? So we need to do some more other missions or maybe explore Kerbal. Kerbin some more. Maybe go to the poles or something to gather a lot of science to be able to afford these. Space exploration. Interesting. That looks like another, uh, I'm looking up here, by the way, looks like another science pod or something. Miniaturization. These aren't your standard hobby miniature models. We've been assured they look good enough to actually fly. Well, that's reassuring. Mm -hmm. Aerodynamics. Uh, not interested. Okay. Right then. Let's go back. I could go into the administration building and trade reputation for some, or money, I think, for some science. Uh, unpaid research program costs us 35 reputation. Not sure if I want to do that. Outsourced R&D takes 5% funds income, yields one science for each 12,800 funds. Okay, this is a last resort kind of thing, I think. Um, so, let's see what kind of missions we have available. Maybe ones where we don't kill people right away. We want you to haul the J-33 Weasley turbofan engine into flight above Kerbin. Altitude shouldn't be a problem. Speed shouldn't be a problem. Maybe let's try this. I'm gonna save. I think that means... Uh, building a new plane then uh -huh. depending on what sort of engine this is while working late nights the scientists at c7 aerospace division have made a startling discovery we don't actually know how to attach a j33 weasley turbofan engine to other parts from the bottom to the top is there even a way to tell which side is up uh, i don't know you're asking the wrong dude it would really help us out if you're able to run a test. Okay, let's take this and give it a try and see what kind of engine this is. So it should be right here, J33, this is the new one. Ooh, it is a, f a plane engine, I think. Intake air and liquid fuel, so that's a jet, jet engine, nice. That's a big one gotta say all right let's build ourselves a plane we have some experience in plane building uh not of all not not all of it was yielded great results but it was experience nonetheless all right uh we want to attach this well we need some fuel uh air intake for these don't we all right so in some sort of fuselage. We have an actual fuselage this time. That's new. Don't think we ever had that before. And it doesn't work. <laughs> nope. Uh, what? I must be able to attach this there. What is going on? This is weird. Why is this all grayed out? Give me that crap. Something's happening. I think I just broke the game. Okay, uh, reset. Oh, let's just open. No. How do I reset all of this? What's going on? What's happening? Talk to me. Okay, return to Space Center. Let's hope this thing is gone. When we ret return. 
It is. Sweet. All right. So there it goes. Maybe I did it in the wrong um, order. Bumper solid fuel thing. No, we just want a fuselage. And it connects splendidly. I want to copy this a little bit more. We need multiple of these, I think. It is pretty empty. Now, should we go for one more? Do I have a nice little um, thing to put at the end there now? Or do I still have this tail connector? I guess I do. Uh, I do want to try something, though, because um, in real planes, the top doesn't go down, right? It sh just stays level with this thing, par parallel, it goes like this, straight. It doesn't come down, if I remember correctly, and I do want to try that if I can pull that off. Rotate. Uh, this thing. Now... What's happening? Nothing. Doesn't rotate. Oh, 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 okay, counter. This is uh, going poorly. Are we back to where we were before? <laughs> this is finicky. Well, this is actually what I want, right? I just need to move it inwards a little bit. Okay, so move. I'm so gonna die. <laughs> uh, that's too much. Maybe just tiny bits and pieces, like so. I hope this... Uh, that is weirdly turned here. Uh, I don't like that. It goes to the right a little bit. So I need to rectify that particular situation. Uh, let's see if I can. Did that do it? Uh, it might. But it's going down again. Okay. So let's rotate this again. looks a little bit better. I'm not sure about this friction zone here. It might kill us. We're gonna have to find out. Um, let's get some wheels ready. This dude to the right, you don't see him. Right behind me, this guy here. He's going like, good luck with that sucker. <laughs> He's just glad he's not in the plane to see it all crash and burn. Let's zoom in and tilt up. There we go. Where do I want this? Way up there. Yeah. Okay. Let's get some wings. The wings of tenderness, as I like to call them to mirror those. Okay, they're pointed upwards. Not good. That's better. And some tail fins. Maybe go for two. And then we're gonna be flying on the wings of tenderness, everybody. If you know David Hasselhoff. I do. I was a big fan as a kid. And actually, I might still am. Might still be. Okay, this is still turned weirdly. I need to get rid of that weird thing. Um, let's try this again. Slowly. Nope. Counter. Nope. Counter. Need to. What do I need to do to get this right? Okay, now it's, I think it's straight, but again, it's pointing downwards. Why does this 
keep happening to me. I don't like that at all.